really uh, great part of Santa Barbara, a new part. Uh, I think they call it the Funk Zone I read earlier tonight. A lot of great wine tastings and, and uh, art galleries, but really appreciate you coming out. We're so excited about the Lincoln MKC and what we're going to be launching. And it's so excited for you guys to not only listen to tonight, but to experience the product tomorrow. Uh, before I start, I want to recognize Simon um, over here because he, a couple weeks ago, became an American citizen, I learned tonight, and I think that's a really cool thing. So, congratulations. Well done. Uh, before we get into the vehicle, which I know you're all here to talk about and see, um, I do want to give a quick state of the business on Lincoln because it's been a really exciting year for us uh, at Lincoln. Uh, we just closed the month of May, and I know you're all obviously very aware of how May closed. Very hot industry, 17 million units. On the premium side, it was uh, equally as hot from a sales perspective. Um, and Lincoln exited the month up 21% on a year-over-year -year basis, and 21% on a year-to-day basis. So we outpaced the industry growth. Uh, we continued to grow our market share uh, up over half a point, uh, which is really important for us. And, and when you take a look at the lineup that we have, the uh, majority of our vehicles were up year over year. But we continue to uh, build on the momentum that we uh, created last year when we launched the MKZ. MKZ launched uh, in the March-April time period last year and it launched off to the two best months that it had ever had. And it is up 42% this year so far. And coming out of May, we set an all-time, anytime record for the month of Z. So we've uh, we, that's three months in a row now where we've set all-time records for Z coming out of March, April, and May, May, eclipsing last year's launch month. So we've really started to build some really good momentum, not only from a uh, sales and share perspective, our transaction prices are much higher, over $6,000 higher than they were on the outgoing Z, and we're continuing to see a larger conquest rate, a younger buyer, a more affluent buyer, and really starting to get new people in the showroom, which is, which is one of the great new intentions of, of what we want to do with that Z. So the product's doing well. We're building on the foundation through a lot of other ways. Obviously, it's not just about one vehicle, but it's what we're doing around the brand. Our used car business, which is so important in the, in the luxury space, as you all know, is also up 20% on a year-over-year -year basis. And our retention rates of our off-lease vehicles, where we were performing pretty poorly in the past, we're now up to about 70% retention rate, which is competitive with any other luxury brand in the industry. Really important as we as we build our dealer network, their profitability, and also our residual values plays, that plays a big role in it. Uh, we also have programs like Lincoln Academy and how we're handling our, our dealership training. Our date night program, which we launched with the Z and will be expanding with MKC different ways to get people into the vehicle and experience Lincoln and our brand champion uh, uh, program that we launched across our dealer network is really engaging customers one-to-one -one and really playing up the personal service side of the brand. So a lot we're building on. I know a lot of you saw in Beijing uh, at the auto show, we, we launched our intention to come into China at the end of this year, which was really exciting. Uh, as you know, China is going to be the largest luxury industry by 2017, 2018 time period. Rapid growth, great opportunity for us. And we're going to go into the market with a totally different perspective. We have a clean sheet of paper. And what we showcased at the, at the Beijing show was a, a totally different dealership experience. And that's what we're really going to be building the brand around. We've heard a lot about the, from the Chinese customer what they want, and we're going to be all about personal service and a totally elevated experience for the client over there, and we really showcase that through the launch. So uh, we're really excited about that. It's going to give us a totally different level of volume and scale that the Lincoln brand hasn't had before, and, and uh, we're really excited about that. Back to the product. Now, we've, we've been talking about this being a product-led transformation. We've also said it's a journey, and we're not, you know, we understand that. But MKZ started last year. MKC is the second proof point, if you will, in our transformation. I think tomorrow when you leave, you'll see that this is a fully differentiated product and a totally next step up for the Lincoln brand. Um, it is a really important uh, vehicle for us, and I'll talk about why in a moment. Um, but not only are we launching this this year, but we're also launching the uh, new significantly refreshed Lincoln Navigator in the fourth quarter of this year. And we'll also be launching our Black Label series on MKC and MKZ at the end of this year. So it's going to be a busy 2014 for us, building on what we started last year with, with, with uh, MKZ. 
If you remember in China, we also launched our, uh, revealed our MKX concept vehicle. That's a really strong indication of what our third vehicle and the transformation is going to be, the three out of four vehicles. Um, and we also announced that we're going to have a large full-size sedan. And we're going to talk a lot more about MKX concept and the large full-size sedan as we get later into the year. But we're really excited about it. We want to be very transparent. At the same time, this year, and this launch is so important to us, MKC is going into the fastest growing segment in the luxury space. It has grown 600% since 2008, and we expect it to grow almost another 300% by 2018. So not only has it grown a lot, it's going to continue to grow, so we couldn't be entering the market at a better time. What's great about it, why it's so important, is a lot of people say, well, why, why would you have put your, your bet on, on, on a small utility vehicle when you're trying to transform a brand, and that is the main reason. It is absolutely going to be, uh, from a volume perspective, an opportunity. No one really dominates the segment, and it will continue to build on what we've seen with MKZ, bringing younger buyers, more affluent buyers, and buyers that live on the coast, which change, continue to change the, the profile of the Lincoln customer and who we're bringing.